Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's say you're running Minecraft on your Mac and you want to set a resolution that's not the retina resolution of your screen. So if we go ahead and press the function shift F3 key, then we're gonna to get to the display information. So here we're running at the retina resolution and this is not gonna give a particularly good frame rate for this particular game. So just gonna to toggle that off again. And in order to select the actual resolution, you're gonna to go to escape and then we're gonna to go to the options menu here Go to video settings. So once we're in video settings, you're gonna find that there's no way to select a custom resolution. However, I'm gonna show you how to fix that now. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So in order to get to the resolution selector, we must get into the video settings menu first. So I'm gonna click on video settings. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the shift P button. And this is gonna take us to a different video settings menu. And then we have here full screen resolution current. So that takes your full screen resolution of your Mac, which is currently a retina display. And then we can go ahead and change this to whatever resolution that you want. So it's obviously better to go lower and you're gonna get a better frame rate. So for example, if I go all the way to the bottom, we're gonna to get to 1920 by 1080. So just be aware that the at number at the end is the refresh rate of the monitor. So you don't wanna set it to 48 because then you'll only see 48 frames. If your computer supports 120 like this MacBook Pro 60 inch does, then 120 is the best. Just set it to as high as possible so you're not too limited by the frame rate. I'm also gonna be turning VSync off so we can see the frame rate difference. And then we need to go to video settings and then we also need to make sure that full screen is turned on, otherwise that resolution won't be applied. So here I'm gonna press the apply button and now the resolution has changed. I'm gonna press done here and done. And you can see now, instead of getting 50 or 60 FPS, we're getting 100 FPS with 1080p with shaders. If I press function shift F3, then we can see here that we're running at 1080p and we're getting a decent frame rate as well. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel. If you wanna find out how to run Prism Launcher and get the native ARM version of Java to get maximum performance from Minecraft, then please make sure to check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.